Hello everyone, we're here at the summit of Trans Mountain on Loop 375 in El Paso, Texas and this is going to be the Kama 3X Trans Mountain Challenge. So here's the high point right here. We're going to start our descent on the other side of the mountain going to the east or the northeast side of El Paso. So we'll see how the Kama 3X does. It's running Sunny Pilot custom software that allows me to control the speed independently from the steering. That's one of the major differences between Sunny Pilot and Stock Open Pilot. Stock Open Pilot forcibly links the two. So comma, the Comma 3X will control both your speed and your steering. So Sunny Pilot allows you to control them independently through a feature called MADS, M-A-D-S, Modified Assistive Driving Safety, I believe. Full acronyms on the screen. But yeah, so it's great for mountain driving, also city driving, where you do want to have that extra control of your speed, especially, you know, like I said, in the mountain or the city, so you can brake or accelerate on your own compared to relying on either the comma, that's an experimental or, yeah, experimental alpha mode, so it'll, it, it will disable auto emergency braking for a lot of vehicles, or you would just rely on your vehicle's smart cruise control or similar. But yeah, the Kama 3X here has a little camera there. It's a driver monitor. And it also has auto um, lane change, not auto lane change. You can set it to do automatic, but in this case, I just have it uh, nudge the wheel to confirm. I believe that's the safest option. That's a default option. But anyways, the camera here monitors your gaze, it monitors where you're looking on the road. So if you're looking down at your phone or too far to the left or right, it will chime at you to pay attention, which is a very big difference for most other ADAS systems, driver assistance systems on the market, including uh, Tesla's, except I think full self-drive beta finally enabled the camera. And of course, I'm in the Kia EV6 here, so the stock Hyundai Kia lane follow system would not, it doesn't have a camera at all, so it would rely on uh, nudging the wheel. It would always nag you to nudge the wheel, because that's the only way it knows that you're still paying attention is to nudge the wheel. But you can see here it's doing really good on these curves. It just went into that lane line a little bit right there. And the information on the screen here, the Kama 3X also shows you when it has control. So it has a cyan highlight. That means it has control of the steering and a green highlight would mean that you are also using smart cruise control or it's experimental. Uh, they call it longitudinal mode for acceleration. I just call it speed for acceleration or deceleration. But yeah, it shows you a graphic here. Also have blind spot monitor for those vehicles that do support it. So it has a red highlight whenever there's a car in your blind spot and it won't let you do the lane change, it'll chime at you. But also on the screen, it might be a little hard to see, but the visualization does show. And I just had to nudge the wheel a little bit there. I was going a little close to the lane line, uh, but not too bad. That might have been the only intervention so far just because there's some cars passing, but it shows you how close it thinks um, you are to the lane line. So right now it has a lane line as green, means it's not really, it has a good distance from it. Yellow means it's getting close to the lane line and red means it's over the line. But overall the system works pretty good, especially when you go about the speed limit here. I'm going about 60 miles per hour. Speed limit here is like 55, so basically the same. And going with the flow of traffic. So yeah, other stats on the right side of the screen, you can um, enable them. The developer stats has estimated distance to the car ahead, estimated speed of the car ahead, um, actual steering in degrees of torque, and also has uh, actual lateral movement, I believe acceleration in meters per second squared. So yeah, it has all those. It's a little hard to see, obviously, from your vantage point back there at the GoPro camera, uh, but I can see them pretty good from where I'm sitting here in the driver's seat. But overall, I'd say it did really good I really just had to nudge the wheel a tiny bit, and if you do have to nudge the wheel, it just turns gray for a split second there. So the system gives you control when you have to nudge the wheel for just like one or two seconds. As soon as you release the wheel, it gives it takes back control. So that's great if you have to like nudge your way like around a curve, around an object, or something like that in the road. So it allows you to have momentary control. The stock honey key, so if you do that too often, it'll just drop control for a while. But overall, it did pretty good, and it can even take exits here changing lanes also takes exits and and everything like that and this is not a steering wheel weight here on my wheel this is a, a remote for the gopro uh, but anyways this vehicle it wouldn't matter with steering wheel weights because it doesn't rely on pressure applied to the wheel like gripping the wheel this vehicle the kia ev6 only detects um by torque on the wheel that's how it knows and that's how the comma knows if you have control or not you torque the wheel so this steering wheel weights wouldn't work on this vehicle i know for teslas and some other vehicles they use steering wheel um, torque so if you like squeeze the wheel it knows that you have control so that's where the steering wheel weights some people would use those for those vehicles but you don't need to use that here at all 
or you don't have to nudge the wheel at all because, uh, like I said, it has a driver monitoring camera. But overall, I'd say that was an excellent test. It's doing even better in this, running the latest driving model as of the recording of this video. The recording of this video is uh, being done on September 13th, 2024. And the latest driving model available is uh, July 1st, 2024. I believe it's called uh, NDV2. It has a lot of different acronyms it stands for, but the, well, I think it's like Notre Dame or, or something. Um, version 2 or North Dakota version 2 I don't know they name them kind of weird but that's the name of it there but it's from July 1st 2024 and comma 3x uh, comma open pilot they have new driving models every few months or so usually every two to three months so when there's a new driving model I'll be sure to test it again but thanks for watching everyone get subscribed to my videos here on YouTube I do more comma 3x driving tests also EV6 road trips will be coming soon so get subscribed for more Comma 3X tests. The next one will be the Raton Pass Challenge. That one's gonna be a tougher, it's gonna be a tough road there, Interstate 25 in Northern New Mexico. For that one, I'll try to um, use the Comma 3X linked with the Smart Cruise Control and see how it does in combination with the two systems instead of me driving it all manually here. But yeah, that's gonna be it. Thanks for watching everyone. If this video is helpful, consider checking out my Ko-Fi link in my bio to buy me a coffee, anything you could give, I'd appreciate a lot. And talk to you in the next video.